In this video, I want to build on the previous video about uh, the structure of a stream on SharePoint experience with the folder structure, equaling channels, things like that. And I want to actually build out a matching channel structure in a sample site to match what I had in Stream Classic before. So to jump right in, if we go back a little bit of, of review, we've got the Stream Classic organizational structure at a high broad level is you've got groups and you've got your user account. Inside the groups, you have one or more channels and you store your videos inside those channels. The channels are inside the group. The group is the parent of the uh, channel. And then the user account, that's pretty flat. You're just storing videos in your user account and sharing them as needed. If we fast forward over to the SharePoint side of things, it's a very similar structure, right? So we've got a site and we've got folders on a site that represent our channels. And then we're going to put our videos in those folders. The folders live on sites. And then at the, uh, the user level, we've got OneDrive with videos inside of OneDrive. So that's a quick review of um, the structural elements, right? Now, what I want to do is I want to duplicate or do what I'm calling a self-migration from Stream Classic to Stream on SharePoint. So I'm on the uh, Contoso Stream website. Megan Bowen is logged in into Contoso. And the way that she's going to find where her stuff is, is she is used to having channels, right? She had all of these channels in a group for Office 365 adoption. So she could go from my content right here. She could go to either groups or to channels. I'm going to go to channels because I think most people are familiar more with channels, which is just a subfolder of a group. So I've got three channels right here with eight videos, two videos, and 19 videos, right? Um, they're all in the group called Office 365 Adoption. That is the, gr the group, the overall container with three folders in it that are channels. So inside of each, each of these, I've got a bunch of videos. We'll just open up Teams Tip Tuesday. And we can see there's all the videos that make up Teams Tip Tuesday. And it is in the group Office 365 Adoption. So I'm going to click on that to take us to the group's landing page. So remember, this is a Microsoft 365 group. So there's a mailbox for it. There's the stream video portal. And then there's a SharePoint site. So there already exists a SharePoint site for this particular group. You can see that where it says M365. That means that it's a Microsoft 365 group and it has all of those things. If I go to channels, there's those three channels. So the first question is, how do I find the SharePoint site for this particular group? Well, that's pretty easy. We're just going to search for that over on the SharePoint uh, office.com website. So we're going to open up, up a, new, um, a new tab and we're going to go to office.com. And then I could search up here at the top or I could go in the waffle I could go over here to SharePoint and search SharePoint. I'm just going to type it right here. So Office 365 adoption. And you see that like that site already comes up because there's a, a match. If you don't see your site right away, then you can click show more results right here. And then you can filter by just the sites. And there's that Office 365 adoption. You can see it's got that same little icon that I had over on the stream website. So we're going to open this up and I've already got this built out just a little bit. It's a, a pretty vanilla SharePoint site, but I added some things to my homepage. So say I've got a featured video up at the top. This is a text web part, a button web part, more text down here. And then I've got a couple sections right here where I've just got the old school stream classic uh, channel web part. So it's just showing all the videos in a channel. I've got the same thing with my working with OneDrive. So those are pulling from these two locations over on Stream Classic. So how do I do a self-migration? How do I move this stuff over and recreate this same type of a construct? Well, what I would first do is I would go into this working with OneDrive. And then for each of these videos, I can click the dot, dot, dots. And I can click download video right here at the bottom. So I could download those videos, put them into folders, 
and then just upload those folders to the SharePoint site. So rather than making you watch me uh, download all of these videos, I've already downloaded them to this folder on my computer. So you've got live events, Team Tip Tuesday, and working with OneDrive. I've got all the videos. I shorten them down a lot too, so they'll upload very quickly for us uh, just for demo purposes. So I've got that folder structure. And then back on the SharePoint, I've got the default documents library. Every SharePoint is gonna have that, that little link called documents. So we're gonna go in there and we see that our documents is empty. Now, this is very simple. All I have to do is select those three folders that I want and I can drag them onto the SharePoint browser uh, website and it's uploading those documents right now. So I'm uploading 23 videos. They're only 46 megs, so it's going pretty quickly but it's uploading all of them into that folder structure that I already set up on my computer earlier. So after a few moments, I've got all of these things uploaded and you can see that in these folders, I've got all of the videos. Now this extra DS store thing, that's because I'm on a Mac. So that's a, a hidden file. I'm just gonna go ahead and clean that up and delete that out of that folder. And I'll do that out of the other two folders. So that one's missing live events, there's that extra DS store. So we're gonna delete that. And then working with OneDrive, we're gonna delete that DS store. So just like that. So now I've got a folder structure with videos inside of it. Let's go back over here to PowerPoint and I've got folder A, folder B, and I've got a third folder, right? So Teams Tip Tuesday, working with OneDrive, and then live events. They're in the SharePoint site called Office 365 Adoption. And now, how do I present these? So I could share these videos individually if I wanted to. I could just simply get a link to them and share them as needed. Or I could give people access to the entire folder and say, there you go, there's the videos, great, go on. But I kind of want to display these a little bit nicer than what I have with just a typical folder with files in it. These videos, they deserve to be presented in a nicer fashion. So I'm gonna go back to my homepage and I had these channels right here inside of Stream on uh, Stream Classic. So what I wanna do is I wanna replace these with a web part that will show the video in a similar fashion, like a nice little thumbnail. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to replace this with a um, with a highlighted content web part in SharePoint. So what I'm gonna do on this page here is I'm gonna click edit in the upper corner of the page. We're gonna edit this site. And then I've got this section right here that has the stream web part highlighted. We're gonna go ahead and remove that by clicking on the trash can. We're gonna delete that web part. And then we're gonna add a web part right here called highlighted content. This is my most commonly used way to surface videos because I can filter by what folder they're in and then I can kind of group them together, right? So if I got highlighted content and maybe I want to call this Teams Tip Tuesday videos. So I give it a title, then I click the little pencil to open up the, um, the way that I want to filter this. So I can surface up just all of the videos on this entire website if I want to by clicking this site and then videos right here but I wanna do a little bit better. I wanna filter by a particular folder. So in order to do that, instead of this site, I'm gonna say a document library on this site to get a little bit more granular. And then I'm selecting the documents library, that's the default library. And then I can sort or I can filter out any video or any type of document that I want. I'm of course gonna select video. I don't want Word documents showing, I just want videos. So there's all the videos, but you can see that like, I've got some live event videos, I've got some OneDrive videos, they're all mixed together, right? So I need to filter out just Teams Tip Tuesday. So I'm gonna do that by clicking in the filter area. I'm gonna click column name. I can click the column name right here. And what I'm gonna be looking for is the path. That's the folder name that I wanna get. So I'm gonna scroll down here to where it says path lookup. So I wanna look up the path and I wanna say that it contains the word Teams. And now you see, now it's just filtered out. There's all my Teams Tip Tuesday videos right there. So I can do that. Now, I don't really like this like double row display. So I have a few options. Now, 
Previously, we just had a film strip with Stream Classic. I can show these in a grid format. I can show them as a list if I want to. I can have them be a carousel so you have to like cycle through them and they're kind of spotlighted videos. But I'm just going to go with film strip, kind of similar to what we had in Stream Classic. So now I've got my highlighted content web part all filtered and ready to go. I'm going to do the next one for working with OneDrive. Now I'm going to delete this and then instead, I'm going to just copy this because I already did the filtering. So I'm going to duplicate that web part and then I'm going to click and drag it down to its own little section right here. I'm going to change the name to working with OneDrive. And then I just need to change one thing on my filter. So over here on the side, instead of searching for teams, I'm going to search for the word OneDrive and that's going to find everything in that the path has to contain the word OneDrive. I have a folder called working with OneDrive. So there's all my videos that are in that working with OneDrive folder. Finally, I've got down here, I already kind of cheated and already did this uh, for the live event folder. But again, it's the same thing. I've got the path contains the word live events because that's the name of the folder. And now you see those live event videos right there, these live event recaps about NDI, stuff like that. Now, what is this little guy right here? I can have something called a call to action. If I want to have like a little bit more of a, a label on it, I can certainly do that as well. So I'm going to change this web, this section right here by clicking on the section all the way on the left hand side. I'm going to click on that and I'm going to change this to a one third left, two thirds right, right? So then I can move this over. I have a little bit more space. And in this open space to the left, I can click the plus sign right here at the top of that section. And then I can add something called a call to action right here. So I can build out my call to action. I can say, you know, um, working with OneDrive and that'll be the name of my, my button right there. And then I could link to this particular folder if I wanted to. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to just save this as a draft and open this up in a new tab. And then working with OneDrive, say I want just to link to this folder directly. I can then copy this whole path to the folder right here. And then we can go back and we can edit this page. And then what my link is, if I click on the pencil, what my link is, is it's just a link to that particular page. You see that the button lit up now. And then I can do some call to action here. So like uh, get up to speed on file sharing with OneDrive, right? So I can add that. I can add a background image right here. So I can hit change on the background image and I can find, I don't know, a stock image for like files, right? So here's, here's a bunch of folders. Click insert. Now I've got like this really nice thing. And now I don't even really need a title here because I've already got the name working with OneDrive. So I can scroll down and I can uncheck this show title. I can uncheck that. And now I've got this really nice side by side. Maybe I want to have like a little bit of like a staggered view. So let's do this flipped the other way for Teams Tip Tuesday. So we can again change the section from a single column. We're going to change it to one third right, two thirds left. So we're going to kind of flip flop what we just did. And then in this open section, we're going to add a call to action. And then we're going to say, um, be the best Teams user ever. And then we're going to say Teams Tip Tuesday. And again, we're going to go back here. We're going to copy the link to this particular folder, right? And then we're going to paste that in. And now that lit up. I've got a call to action. I just need to change the background. And we'll do something like meeting. Here we go. Two people shaking hands. Why not? So you can make that the background and then you can just hit republish up here in the top corner. And now I've got my site has been updated to have all native playback in SharePoint instead of having a uh, stream classic. So I'm, I'm loading these videos from the uh, SharePoint site. If I click on how to create tasks, we're going to see it open up in the new stream on SharePoint that that red banner at the top is kind of the dead giveaway. And I can watch this video, get a transcript, add comments, all that cool stuff. So 
pretty basic video, um, organizing your videos into folders on a SharePoint site, and then surfacing those folders uh, as web parts where you can filter by the actual folder that you want. And we've recreated this, the uh, concept of channels in the new stream on SharePoint with a lot more flexibility. I hope that helps. Leave a comment if you have any questions below. And uh, thanks for watching.